as Cape Media, as TV47, as Radio 47, and especially Dr. Frank tonight. Of course, our aim is to make sure that we are part of history making in terms of supporting and promoting local talent. And of course, our work here is of course to make sure that every generation of artists and creatives get an equal opportunity for them to showcase and us promoting whatever you're doing. That's why every time we start the show, we always have a special talent. We have an amazing dancer, because that's what we can the dancers in the house. And for the fact that these dancers are here every single time, of course, it's something that I myself, as the host of Dr. Ferry tonight, I don't take it for granted. And of course, we have hosted from local to international artists, from comedians to actresses to politicians, all of them on Dr. Ferry tonight. So, and of course, I know Kenyans have had the sentiments the whole week, and, um, uh, and uh, <laughs> my goodness, and a lot of things have been said. Most of them to support, uh, to support others to argue their cases. But at the end of the day, everybody, we, have, we enjoy the freedom of speech according to the Constitution, of course, that promulgated in 2010, that every Kenyan can say whatever they want to say, isn't it? But um, this is not an apology, DJ Ian. Mm -hmm. I think it needs to be very clear mm -hmm. that this is not an apology. This is actually an explanation of what the statement was gotten out of context. It's plain and simple. We've call, we call every artist here. All right? So this is an interview and not a performance. I think that needs to be known. It's an interview and not a performance. Number two, the artist has every freedom to decline an interview right from the beginning. All right? State how you feel. State the terms and conditions. Just in case, as a show and as a media house, we are not able to meet them. We'll also be honest enough to tell you, hey, we are sorry, but we cannot meet them. All right? Number three, DJ Ian, mm -hmm. it's also important for us to say this, that it, just in case you feel like you are uncomfortable, it's also good enough to tell us on time so that we're also able to get another guest on time. This is what happened. And I'll say this uh, so that we can get done with this story and move forward. To be honest, I didn't know the song. I, I knew the song, but I didn't know the artist. I, would say, I want to be very honest. The only person I knew in the song, because it's a remix, is Media on the G-Bag, G-Bag, Najag. Najag song, right? But because we're doing a back to school edition, we knew the beautiful Gen Z's love this guy. And we called him on time, Kenyans. We called him on time. And guess what? He actually agreed to come to the interview. The only condition uh, the guy gave was that an attack affair. Which we agreed to, that we'll, uh, we'll make sure that he gets here to the studio and actually he will get back home. That was sorry, it's something we've done for a lot of artists when they request. So I want that to be known very clear. Only until last minute when we called him to ask him how far he is and is he coming for the show, which was on Wednesday. Last minute. Ah, the gentleman, and I quote, he said, um, Two million views. And he hung up. Oh, no. 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 Or a producer, I am sorry. We don't. If you don't, if you cannot pay me for the interview, I'm sorry, but in a respectful way. But from the tone that was used, that is where the problem came in. 